Hey there, boys and girls. We're back on the JP server today, and I kind of just want to show you guys like how I've been progressing through all this. I didn't make videos on each and every one of the trials that I beat because, you know, some of them I kind of brute forced because I had some power creep units. Uh, on this tab, the only thing we got left is Malboro, Tiamat, and Demon Wall. I've got all the rest of them beat with all missions. Uh, I've got everything beat on this tab with all missions. And if we go to the series boss battles, I've got five left. Uh, I kind of put these on the back burner because I unlocked the good latent abilities for the for the units that I have access to, and I haven't really been worrying about the the rest of them. But I'll get to it eventually. Um, so yeah, if you're curious about how I'm doing on JP, then I actually have some decent units. There you go. We're gonna be trying the Demon Wall today. Um, this is gonna be my second attempt doing it. Um, the missions are use no items, use black magic, and defeat it within 20 turns. Sinzar set us up a really nice Efrit rain. Then we're going to be taking is Warrior Light. He's passive provoking. He's not fully evade for this. Um, just lots of hit points and uh, defense. He needs Genji Shield on for death resist. I put a dual cast on him. And, you know, for those of you like on Global that's kind of holding out for Warrior Light, like this is why that Warrior Light is, is really a really strong tank. And in my opinion, he's the best character in the game. Um, he can he can dual, dual cast like, you know, heals and resist and stuff like that we've got him set on what titan he's going to be giving us earth resist and he's going to be healing some i mean he can give us like he can cleanse status effects and all that he's just really really super nice we're taking cecil he's not he's yeah he's going to do some magic tanking but like his primary function is to give us general mitigation um this boss does do dispels on 80 percent uh 50 percent 30 percent and 10 percent i think um he will magic cover every now and again, but like I said, that's really not his primary function. Lynn is going to be our healer. She's great. We know on global, like what she brings to the table, she's got the status immunity stuff. Got really powerful heals. Uh, Elephant's going to be our breaker. I can't wait till we get this unit on global. Uh, I really like Fid, as everybody knows. Like I, and I think like Elephant and Fid could be interchangeable in a lot of fights. You know, if you want the healing from Fid, depending on your comp. Um, Elephant's just flat out the best on JP. You know, she has great breaks. She gives you the stat buffs and all that. Um, this is my Efrit Rain. I'm using a fire weapon. I got 2,500 attack on Golem for a Stone Killer. Really, for this trial, I found like you need around 12,000 hit points minimum. Uh, above 500 defense is kind of like where we're trying to get with all this stuff. Most of my units hit that. Um, you need 100% um, earth resist and a buff. You want, I think you need 180% is what Sinzar was telling me to become immune. But, uh, you know, some of our units aren't going to hit that. We should be just fine. This is Sinzar's friend unit. Again, it's set up pretty much the same way as mine. It's really well geared. Let's give it a go. So he's got this preemptive that he does. Like, we're not going to worry about dispelling that or anything. Like I said, Warrior Light is passively provoking. And I may not do this trial like 100% accurate. Uh, I'm still kind of learning this fight. We're going to do Earth Resist with him. We're going to give General Mitigation with Cecil. And we're going to come down here and get Lena's Immunities. Elephant is going to do a defense break on the boss. I hope the game audio isn't too loud. I thought it was I thought it was kind of low before, so I turned it up just a little bit. Let's see how that goes. We're gonna limit burst with Efrit Rain. Uh, that way we get this big imperil up. <clears throat> he's not really an LB unit like Chair Rain is. Um, he's more of like a, a straight up chainer. So this is kind of the running theme with Demon Wall. This is why all their units like need some decent defense and whatnot. Um, he's going to um, He's going to like do a fixed AoE on all your guys and hit them. Really hurts. Got to check on my bus right there. Alrighty, now we're going to get into using range rotation. We use a cooldown and a chain. Cooldown and a chain. We'll come over here with the elephant and pick up this. Chain this off. Really, these guys don't have a whole lot going on in their life, so we're just going to we're just going to magic cover with Cecil. And uh, like I said, with Warrior Light, we're just going to get this resist buff. That's pretty much going to be his like primary job for a while, and we'll just refresh our immunities with Lena. As you can see, like Rain took a couple smacks right there, and then he took the AOE. That's why your units like need some good um, defensive stats. I can see why Sinzar kind of runs new units versus this trial because. 
it's really a good benchmark as far as like the unit's survivability and um, how much damage they do, because this, this thing's pretty tanky, actually. Come back over here and use Elephant's other buff. We'll get our triple cast. This. So, we'll send these boys off. <clears throat> good damage right there. We'll just repeat with these guys. I was told when Demon Wall gets like an attack buff, you need to use gravity on him. That'll stop him from advancing towards you. <clears throat> so I need to be kind of mindful of that. Hopefully I didn't miss it already. Yeah, we're still good. Or maybe I missed the first one. I don't know. It'll be fine. Like I said, we're learning. Certainly not an expert on all things Japanese. <clears throat> We've got our triple cast ready. Let this heal go off. I found sometimes whenever I try to like chain, as soon as like Lynn is doing her delayed heals, like it might break the chain. So I always try to make sure that goes off. All right, we hit our first threshold right there, eighty percent. Like what the boss is basically going to do now is uh, is fully. Um, He's going he's gonna to attack us like he's been doing, and then he's just going to give us a big debuff. Um, so what we're doing right here is largely irrelevant with these guys. <clears throat> There's the attack buff. I probably pushed on a on the wrong turn there, I think. Hopefully Cecil's limit burst will fill up so we can uh, we can use it again. <clears throat> Let's see. I think we do this one I, again. You have to forgive me with my elephant usage. Like sometimes I uh, I get confused on which buff I do. As long as we do something, we're we're trying to be productive. Staying in the boss a little bit more. We got Cecil's limit burst. That's great. Um, we're going to have Warrior Light doing Earth uh, resist because I think that's important. And like I said, the boss buffed his attack and magic so we got to we got to use gravity so we're not going to have our immunities for this turn should be fine warrior light can can help us out if we get like petrified <clears throat> i think that pink swirly thing is like signifying that you did something right with the gravity <clears throat> already great so with Lena, we need to get our resistance buffs back up. And this is again, this is why like I love Warrior Light so much. Like he can come to right down here, he can pick up this big hill bomb, he can still give us the earth resist, we're good. We got one turn on our imperil. We still okay, we're good. Come over here. Oh buttons. Triple cast this. Put some more damage into the wall. <clears throat> we'll just magic cover with Cecil. Some good damage right there. Rain probably will die this turn. If he does the earth attack. He got slapped pretty hard. I think I, I think my mitigation fell down. We'll check on that. Oh, the counters. Let's see here. Yep, I let my, my mitigation fall off. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Uh, let's see here. We'll get. We've got to re-imperil the boss. Kind of decision time right here. We're not going to do much damage with rain this turn. I'm going to come down here. We're going to we're going to have to take a few turns with Demon Wall right here until we can push him. Um, I'm going to go ahead and use my mitigation. We'll chain chain our reins. Get that imperil going again. Um, I think with Lena, we're going to entrust Cecil a limit burst bar. So I want to make sure to have his mitigation ready to go for the next turn. Or the next dispel. There we go. Much better as far as taking damage. <clears throat> Let me 
check this boy. Yeah, he hasn't buffed himself yet. That's good. We're looking good on all these guys. Let's see here. Now we kind of got to get Rain set back up. We'll use his cooldown. And again, Rain's kind of in the danger zone. Like I said, I let that mitigation fall off. It's really unfortunate for me because you know later on in the fight, Demon Wall's going to start hitting a lot harder. That was close. Uh, let's see here with Lena. Get our stat resistance back up. Warrior Light's going to top our units off with his dual cast heals. And we'll just have Cecil cover again. There's the there's the attack buff he did, so we gotta use a gravity on him. We're pushing a threshold too. Probably this turn, I would say so. Give me those crystals. I love Cecil's attack animations. I'm still more of a fan than Charlotte. I am Cecil, but that's okay. They're triple cast. Put some damage into old boy right here. <clears throat> Good deal. Now, like I said, we gotta use gravity this round. Because he buffed himself. I really worry your light out. Don't have much going on. We're full hit points, so we're good there. We'll just do us another cover. Man, quit slapping rain. Why oh, you gotta be so damn mean? Lena, we got our stat immunity back. <clears throat> we'll use Cecil's Limit Burst for the mitigation. Gotta tell myself not to let it drop off this time. We'll do a heal. Come over here, pick up this, this break. I think range just in triple cast formation now. Put some damage into the wall. We're on turn 10. We're looking pretty good as far as like, you know, the turn count to complete this. Probably pushing our threshold next turn. I need to get another limit burst gauge over to Cecil. Love those big hills. Come over here and pick this up. I think Rain. We got two turns on our Imperial. I was getting ready to check that. Yeah, we're good. We got a triple cast with Rain again. <clears throat> oh, my chain messed up. So that's what I'm talking about. If I don't let them them dead burn bus fall off, like that happens, which is okay. We're we're still fine. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and entrust the bar over to Cecil. Get that ready for the next turn because we'll definitely push next turn. Please cover. I hate that I screwed that up. <laughs> oh, he's moving closer. Remember the first time I ever fought a Demon Walls in Final Fantasy IV? It's really an epic fight. So yeah, I think. We got one turn on our imperil. A triple cast. Put this into him. Turn this off. <clears throat> good deal. He didn't do his attack buff right there, so we're good with that. Let's see. We'll get Warrior Light to top us off. Charge resist. Hope we have mitigation for this one. Yeah, we're good. Uh, Cecil's got a full limit burst bar for the next turn. That's nice. 
do our delayed stuff. Got two turns on our attack break. Here and get this. We'll just have six cover again. <clears throat> Slap rain around a little bit. Was that? Yeah, it's a stat buff, so we gotta do gravity next. Man, I really, I'm really pushing like on the wrong turns. It seems like. Probably could have gave like Diablos to Elephant. I think she has a little bit more free turn than Lena. Could be an option for maybe the next time like I do this. Like I said, this is my second time fighting this guy ever, so you know I'm certainly not well versed in this fight. <clears throat> Alright, our fire and peril is off, I think. Yep. We'll put that back on. Uh let's see here. Warrior Light. We're topped off, so he'll just do his earth resist. Forgot to turn it. Hey Jake, thanks for the sub. <laughs> we'll get our general mitigation back up, and like I said, we gotta hit him with the gravity. <clears throat> Oof, and he starts hitting so hard. I think as long as we get him dead before turn 17, we should be good. I think that's the goal. I think that's when he starts doing the unpro like the unprovocable death attacks. Uh, let's see. Do a break with Elephum. Get that out of the way. Do our dual cast stuff with Lena. <clears throat> let the, I'll let all this go off. Pain our reins. Come down here and pick up a dual cast. The heal. Earth resists. Cecil will pick up his cover. Stop picking on rain. Alright. <clears throat> oh, it looks like I took a spirit debuff. Again, that's because, like, you know, I phased the boss, I had to do the gravity, I had the gravity on the wrong unit. Probably should be on Elephum. We'll play it out and see how it goes, though. Get our triple cast. Do this buff. <clears throat> Send rain off. 10% is the final threshold on this. Awesome, we hit it. Um, let's see here. I guess we'll go ahead and trust the bar over to Cecil. We'll get him ready for the next turn. <clears throat> we'll just do a magic cover. And a warrior light do earth resist. Again, not a big deal. Oof. Awesome. We're looking. We're looking like we're in pretty good shape. Oh, he's moving closer. Oh my God! <laughs> it's such a cool fight. All right, he turned 16. We're into the triple cast part of this rotation. We'll get Lena to do her dual cast stuff. get Cecil to give us that big boy mitigation. Come down here and get Warrior Light to heal us up and give us a resist buff. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> Alrighty. Get Elephum. Do this defense buff. Does that all go off? Chain on this dude and see what we got. Oh, he's not moving. He's moving now. Hey, we win! Nice! That was cool. Uh, again, it, that's probably, like, don't take this as a guide or anything like that. Like, I, I know about the mechanics. I'm still working on a lot of these trials. That's another reason why I'm not putting out, like, official videos on how to do them. Um, pretty much this is just, like, what I know about the fights and whatnot and me learning them. 
And I thought this fight was really cool. I liked it. Um, and I just really like using my new DPS shinies. Hey, we got all of the missions. That's really great. We got a really awesome uh, uh, wand with that. I think it's got like a lot of magic. We got us another UOC. That was really fun. I'm glad. Uh, thank you, Senzar, for all the information you gave me on the Demon Wall fight. Um, he gave me like a brief synopsis of, of kind of how to do the fight. And then I kind of ran from there. And thank you for the friend unit. You're an amazing person. I love you. Um, hope you guys liked the video. Um, I'll probably do some more of these JP videos. I'm going to try to start doing like... It's, again, not really like a preview guide because I can't really match the units on, on Global, but I'll try to do something similar whenever we get like, like um, what is it, Heisei his name, that damn robot with the two arms you got to kill a whole bunch. I'll try to do him sometime, uh, get a video up on that so you guys can kind of see that fight. Um, like I said, I hope you liked the video. I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of the week. Toodaloo.